Hi, this is Stan. Welcome back to the Crow's Nest Railroad. Well, we've just begun a project here in the background. You can see this is my first attempt at putting a switch in on the Crow's Nest Railroad. It's really early in the morning. You can see the light is still on from overnight. So we got to get busy, make the best of this cool morning temperature. So I'll see you in a second. Who needs a landscaping firm when you have a small goat that chews off all the little branches? Anyway, this is how far we got last time. We made up some new ties, some new sleepers, and we got them laid out. And I got some general locations for the frog and the points, etc. So the big project today is going to be digging out all of this ballast here and setting these all in place and then attaching them to this inside rail which will not get moved as I build the switch. That's my guide rail. But I've got to move this little flower box. Sort of an eyesore anyway. It's so small there's not enough soil on it to really keep a lot of plants alive. So that's our start. Get rid of that box and then start digging. All right, we got the clear pathway here. And you can see I got the spot marked out for the frog and that's really the reference point for the whole switch between that frog and this guide rail. All right, well, let's start digging. Well, there goes my work glove. So let's take a look at the tie here. It's been in the ground three years. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Okay. All right, the first long tie is in and leveled out. So rinse and repeat. And you can see we're making good progress here. I've got to stop because I want to plan out exactly where the break in the rail is going to be, that hinge point for the points, and where they're going to end up so that I know where to put this guy and so that I've got some support underneath the spot where I'm going to put the brake, the hinge, or whatever you call it there, where you go from the rail that is immovable 
to the movable point. Okay, that's where this long sleeper, I think there's a name for that, is it the head tie? I forget. But anyway, that's where that goes and this is where the actuator will be. And then the sharp end of the points will be just past that. So, got to keep digging. All right, all the new ties are in place. I was even able to keep that little strap. We'll keep it in there for now. And right there is where the frog is going to go. You can see I've got that extra support in the middle. And the links all tapered down. And then we've got this little canal here for the actuator and for the uh, switch lever over here. And I gotta say, these ties we pulled out, three-year-old ties, these are looking great. They weren't treated in any way, just redwood. I'm pleased with that. But again, I live in the desert and I live close enough in the urban area here to where we don't get as much rain as the rest of Arizona or even some of the outlying suburbs. And there's the spot of track on the inside there that needs to be cut out to place the frog. And that's where I'm going to have to leave it for right now. I'm at a stopping point but also a decision point. It's like that game show. If you leave and go home now, you can keep the $2,000 or you can bet it all double or nothing on the final prize. So I can quit right now and all I've done is just put some improved ties down on the track and I can shovel all the ballast back in and go forth. However, once I get out the saw and cut into the rail, that's double or nothing. I'm going for broke at that point. So. Let's see what happens. Hope you can join me right here next time on the Crow's Nest Railroad.